I'm all over the road. All right, guys. Uh, it is 10 minutes to 10 Sunday morning. I believe it's, I know it's Sunday. Uh, I think it's the 27th of August. Anyway, if you've watched any of my other videos, the Hudson family, uh, the daughter Emily called me. She sent me a text at about 7 seven forty-five or so this morning a couple hours ago and i had just woke up about an hour ago anyways uh her mom's in the hospital if you remember tiffany in the wheelchair from the other video she had a sugar thing going on and i'm meeting uh, emily walked from her house which is probably two miles or so the hospital ambulance took her mother to the hospital i'm going to go into mcdonald's and find her uh she called me and the hospital's about five miles or so from here. I'm gonna go see if I can find her. I was gonna be in a different car, but then I, I changed it up. I'm gonna go in into McDonald's here and look for her. I'm gonna give her a ride to the hospital where her mom is. I got a different car, Emily. Oh, Look, okay. yeah, let's go. Fill, you, want, you want to fill your glass? Yeah, I'm gonna fill it up with water. Are you Carl? No, no. Daryl? I know Carl. You do know Carl? You know where James is? He's got, got this way. He's here? No, no, no. His sister, a, a good friend of his. Are you going to be here for a little while? Yeah. I'll be right back. Um, okay, I'm going to help Emily out. Wow. It is uh, like just sh short of 10 o'clock. It's only 80 degrees, which feels like air conditioning compared to the last few days. But I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give Emily a ride. Um, I'm holding the door for no reason. Yeah, I'm not even awake yet. Wow, this is amazing. You know, how are you, Emily? I'm okay. You're okay? Let's go. Okay. Let's get your mom. Yeah, I'm worried about. Yeah. I said I can't. I'm getting hurt. I'll just be fine. I, I need to get to her. Go ahead and sit down. You got you got a cold drink? Yeah. Okay, okay. I got I brought some sandwiches. Okay. But we'll do that when we get to the hospital. Okay. Uh, you can throw that in the back seat if you want. I'll just put Whatever you want to do. Yeah. It's cold. I was walking and it was feeling good. And then it got real hot and I gotta stop for a second. Wow, this is crazy. I just woke up myself. Oh, wow. Uh, basically, shortly after you texted, I'm making a... Well, I guess you could say at this point, I'm making an audio, <laughs> you know, of us. Yeah. This is a... Um, I don't have all the accessories. Oh, you know what I mean? No, that's yeah. fine. All the dash stuff and whatnot. Yeah. But let's go... Boy, oh, boy. Uh... Well, I needed to get started for the day, but not like this. So the ambulance took your mother to the hospital. Yeah, she's in ICU. She's in ICU. Oh my, critical. Lordy be. She's, um, she was that close to a coma, and she's still not feeling well. And she's in Hamilton. Yes. All right, let's awesome. go. We're on our way. You dad hasn't eaten in three days. I haven't eaten in two days. I went to a friend's house. And Where, got, where's your dad? Uh, in the hospital with mom. He, oh, he's okay. I'm gonna give you guys uh, oh, more stuff. Okay. I, I thought you were by, totally by yourself. And your brother's at home. Brother's at home, and it, it was just me, my brother. We slept in the tent last night because I came home around two o'clock in the morning. I, I was in there myself. Um, you were in the hospital. Yeah, and then I knew, next thing I knew, they were saying Tiffany Greer, and I was like, "What? My mom's here." So I started freaking out and uh, they admitted me and they like kept me till I calmed down. All right, I'm not, I'm, I'm processing here. So you were in the hospital. Yes. For I, what? Shortness of breath. And shortness of breath. How did you get to the hospital? My aunt Mimi, that's the last thing I like, she took me. Well, when I saw you a couple days ago, you were out in the hot sun and you already have asthma, right? Yes. And you said you shouldn't be out in the sun. Yeah. So, 
we've had this massive heat wave here. Yeah. And all right, so you were in the hospital, and then you heard that yeah. your mom was coming in. Yeah. I was right next to the uh, nurse station. Oh wow! This is <laughs> you can't you, you can't make this up. This is crazy. Mom was, she uh, always takes out her IV if she don't get there in time. Or they uh, she make takes her out man. she takes out her IV. If they make her man uh, disrespect her, she does. Your mom. Yes. Oh goodness. And they have it sticking in her neck and her stomach and in her um, arm. Because she had a, a diabetic attack. Yes. Well, she it, was right there at the coma. But they said we didn't get in there in like less than two more minutes. To, uh, the ambulance said to have been out. Okay, so she was had pending, pending diabetic coma yes. about to happen. Luckily, the paramedics and ambulance got there in time or yes. got her to the hospital on time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely crazy. And Ma's stuck in there for 10 days, and I'm like, I just want to get out of here. I just want, I, I'm trying to make everyone feel happy, and I'm like, I can't do it all. No, it, it, yeah, she it's, it's, a, it's, stay a, home and take care of my brother, but I'm more worried about her. My brother, your brother could take care of himself. Yeah, he knows how to take care of himself. He knows he, when to go in. He's a, he's a strong young man. He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, Hamilton, well, they've got mixed reviews. I mean, yeah. I've been there. My mother's been there. You know, Some I had... of them take care of my mom. Like, the ones up on the third floor really take care of my mom, but she just can't be up on the third floor before my papa passed away. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's the last... Memories, you yeah. know, flashbacks. All right, we're going to get you over to the hospital. Okay. This is, uh, this is crazy. I thought I was going to be in the other car, but I got my back, as you can tell. Yeah. It's a little dusty, don't worry. Oh. Um, okay, so your dad is here also? Yes. Okay. Uh, Wesley? Yes. Okay. Last time I knew, she was in room 14. But they, they were looking for a... Okay, so she's room. been at... I don't know if 14 is a ICU room. No, that was going to pre-ICU room. Okay. They were prepping her to go to ICU. All right. ICU. So, do you think she's in the emergency section, or should we go, I will go to? I'll go in and check. Or I will. All right. Yeah. I don't want to. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go to the parking lot, and I'll take you right to the door. But okay. I can't. I'm, I can't go in, because this is medical stuff, and yeah. You know that's personal for you and your family. I'm not gonna jeopardize that in any way. Yeah. And uh. Wow, Emily, I. I got, like I said, I got the sandwiches and whatnot, but I forgot the clothing and the and the purse. I'll, I'll come see you later. Okay. Uh, you, you got bigger things to worry about. Yeah. Oh lordy. <laughs> well, guys, uh, welcome to welcome to Georgia. Yeah. Just another day. Stuff like this happens to you all the time. Mhm. Mm yeah, so this is normal for you. Yeah. Boy, that's uh, that's a nice way to live. What if you were out in the woods? Then what? You got no phone. Well, yeah. you, uh, you do have a phone, but you have no service. Yeah, right. You have no service. But when you have a Wi-Fi connection, you know, yeah. like where you're staying now, you know, it opens up a world of opportunity. Yeah. All right. Let, let's get you over here. We're about we're about less than five minutes away, guys. Oh man. Luckily, nobody's on the road. Yeah. It's Sunday morning. Yeah. Everybody's heading to church and getting ready for. You know, a nice lunch with their family. Yeah. I guess you'll have lunch with your family in the hospital. Yeah. Sounds like good times. And I heard my mom's voice, and I was like, yeah, that's her. Okay, so you heard your mom. You were in yourself as a patient. Yes. Yeah, so oh, you got your wristband on. Yeah. Okay. On. All right, that's how fresh it is. Yeah. All right, hold on. Just left a couple hours ago. Okay, it was so dark, but I got a uh, a friend of mine, Ryan. Uh -huh. uh, he he knows a lot of people, and he saw some some of you guys' videos from before, 
and I'm going to meet up with him tom uh, yeah, tomorrow, Monday. Uh, and he wants to come over and meet you guys. He can get uh, he can get you some jobs like instantly. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll but that. let's. Uh, that's gonna, that's tomorrow. Yeah, you know, tomorrow. Yeah, well, I've, yeah. You got. Uh, I got a whole thing. You got a whole uh, other thing to deal with. Yeah. So, she was brought by. Now you're talking just a couple hours ago. Yeah. No, it was like 10, 11. 11. Last night. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Late last night or early. Uh, yeah, late last night, early morning. Okay, and <laughs> she was brought. You were already there. Yes. Okay, they brought her in. You heard her name in the nurse's station. You said, can it be? Yeah, and then they told me that, hey, there's a woman named here, Tiffany Greer. Is this your mom? They said a Greer, and I, the only one I thought was mom being sick here lately. And I was like, yeah, that's my mom. And when she said, yes, my name's Tiffany Greer. And she, I can never remember her birthday. My dad lives up on top of that hill, my room back. So not so much of a nice guy? No, no, not at all. Well. Wesley's a way more nicer guy than, well, way more perfect. Yeah, I, I met him the other, obviously the other day. You know yeah. the whole story. Yeah. He, uh, he came in with your mom in the wheelchair and I was just leaving after I got a bunch of applications for some EBT for some friends of mine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he borrowed my phone. His phone's all broke. You know, screen's all shattered. Yeah. And I, so I was like, no problem here. Yeah, call whoever, you know. Anyway, uh, you were in the back of the truck in 95 degree weather, sweating bullets, trying to sleep. Big boy was in the back, sweating bullets. What a bunch of caring people. I mean, well, obviously they, they care. Yeah. But, all right, this is the emergency entrance. You want to try this? Yeah. I, there's a way you can get back to the back. So. Okay. Well, let's start here. I'll do a U-turn and get you around to the door. <laughs> and I'll wait right here. All right. And then uh, come out and let me know one thing or the other because... Uh, I will, yeah. I, I got to give you that those the stuff for you and your dad. Yeah. Well, not you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, he is my dad. I call him all right, okay. let me, uh, no, I'm going to pull right up. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry, I, uh, I, I, I just wanted to make sure I didn't run these people over. Oh. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to run in. All right, I'll tell you what, Emily, I'm going to be right up here in this little, uh, right there. Right, see where that guy's standing? Yeah, right I'm gonna, I'll, Yeah, I'll, I'll just be right back in there. Okay. When I see you, I'll come back, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll move right out. All right, bless your heart. Uh, oh, okay. I got to scoot out. It hurts. Okay. You want to leave your bag here? Uh, no, it has all my personal. Okay. Has, uh, what, I made. what happened to your leg? You're bleeding. I'm bleeding. On the back side of your left leg. Probably oh. a dog bite. Oh, that's all. No big deal. That's it. She's in ICU. She's in the ICU right oh, now. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yeah. All right, so... You go back to the main. Okay. All right. Entrance. All right. If you know which way to go, you, you let me know. Yeah, you go out here, turn left, and it, you know the other sign. They've done some renovations here. Yeah. You turn right. Turn right, right here. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Sometimes I get confused with my phone. Like, oh, <laughs> you and get confused. You go back right. Right here. Turn. Right. No, not in the parking lot. Okay. No, not in the at the light. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, holy crap. So she's in ICU right now. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect you to be back in 37 seconds. That's great. Okay, so next right, road. Right there. Next light. Yeah. All right. Turn right. All the rights. What's this, Memorial Drive or Memorial Road or something? Oh, it's the other entrance. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. All right. I am, but I don't know. Yeah, this has got the weird parking lot. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking. We're gonna go right underneath the uh, shaded area. Okay. And I'll get out and we'll get you some uh, get you some stuff. All right. And uh, so you don't have no gas. No. In, 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 the trucks broke down anyways, right? Yeah. The, the Nissan gas or the, the van. for the minivan. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, that's for your seatbelt, but who cares? I mean, I'm not kidding. yeah, we're on private property, so nobody's going to worry about it. And I'm certainly not the police. Yeah, I'm not either. <laughs> well, that makes two of us for life. All right, let's uh, let's dig into some. I just took these out of the fridge. They're nice and fresh. Okay. I've got some waters and stuff. All right. Okay. Do you have a dollar? I, I do have just a small generic, yeah, just a dollar general bag. This one, ah oh boy. Hold on a second, I think I got another one. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. Let's see what we got here, guys. Oh, I got one in my pocket. Strangely enough, I got one in my pocket. All right, let's get you a couple sandwiches. Look, I got some Snickers. Oh, that would be so nice. Yeah, don't give one to your mom. No. Here's a couple, one for each of you guys. Oh, uh, you want some mustards? Mushroom and mayo. Okay, uh, mayo might be difficult right this second. And mustard will be okay. okay, I'll give you a couple extra mustards. Lordy be. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, well, hold on to that real quick. And you'll have unlimited drinks here, but let me give you a, let me give you a, uh, let's, I just put ice in here, but it's I don't not. Care what it is. It's yeah, I believe it. Okay, here's a couple waters. Okay. Thank you. Give me a call. I will, as soon as I get that program, if you're feeling okay, I'll let her call you. Okay, I gotta get back, I'm gonna go back to that McDonald's, I gotta talk to that guy. Okay. His sister, this guy's sister's looking for him. She's, no, she, she sent me, I'll, I'll tell you later. You got more things to worry about. All right, thanks. Wow. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna go back to the McDonald's. That gentleman, I got a message on my email yesterday, last night, matter of fact. A woman called and said she saw she saw my video and she knows James Flanagan. If you saw that video, it's a uh, uh, office meds. You know, it, the stuff was stolen. That could be the title of about 20 different videos. But anyways, James, the one that's living in the cemetery, uh, is, right, where am I here? I gotta get my bearings. Okay, I know where I'm at. Uh, <laughs> he this woman called me I believe her name's Jennifer I have her phone number in my phone and I need to find James because he's got some family in Florida and they want to come get him they're going to come up from Florida but they got a long ways to drive it's 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 five hours or so just from here to the start of Florida off of I-75 and I, I have no idea where they are in Florida but you know they could be near Miami that's another five or six hours anyway point being is that they want to they want to come get them but they're, they're gonna come a long way and they want to make sure that well that they can get them and uh, we got to get them out of this but that's where I'm going right the second so I'll be back in a minute here let me see if I can find them <laughs> 